If you want to improve the Wi-Fi connection on your PC or a laptop, if you want to increase the Wi-Fi speed, if you have issues with your Wi-Fi, this tutorial will be very helpful. Please make sure you watch the whole tutorial and guys if you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. So here, do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. And here we need to type ncpa dot cpl once you have typed it click on ok a new window will appear and here we are going to increase the wi-fi speed so look for your wi-fi connection here i can see my wi-fi is right here and i'll just select it now the moment you select it we just need to do a right click and this will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11 on both the versions, so no issues. So once you do the right click, we need to go to this properties. And here, the very first step, this is a very common and very simple step. So I'll take it as a first step. If you have done this, you can skip that. So here we need to select Internet Protocol version 4 and then go to properties. And here we need to enter the preferred DNS. So I have typed 1.1.1.1 and then 1.0.0.1. So this is a cloud DNS, a very great DNS. You can do that. You can also use the Google DNS 8.8.8.8 and here 8.8.4.4. So that's a Google DNS. You can use Google DNS as well. Once you're done, you just need to click on OK. And here, I'll just close this window. So I'll do a right click again. And this time we will click on properties again. And here we need to go to this configure tab right here at the very top. So I'll click on configure and we will get the Intel wireless AC properties. In your computer, no matter you're using any other uh, wireless adapter, it should be Intel and you will get the same window like this. And here we need to go to this advanced tab and I'll tell you a few things which we need to take care of it. So the current, uh, the very first thing which we are looking right now is a fat channel intolerant. Please make sure it is disabled. Now fat channel intolerant, uh, once it is disabled, you will have a better network and better connection as far as the internet is concerned. Once you are done, here we need to go to this preferred band option. And if you have this 5 gigahertz band, you can select this five, prefer 5 gigahertz band. So you can also do that. And the next very important part is roaming aggressiveness. So I have selected to the lowest because my Wi-Fi networks are absolutely fine. So I want to increase the speed and my network bars are already high. So in that case, I can select lowest because lower the roaming aggressiveness, lower the roaming aggressiveness, higher the internet speed. So if your router, if, if your Wi-Fi adapter is near by your laptop, you can make it lowest or you can select medium low. So since my Wi-Fi adapter is very near to my uh, laptop, I mean, almost like, um, two, three, five, ten meters, that is absolutely fine. I can select the lowest. So you can also try that. You can try the lowest one. And then we need to go to the top version here and channel width. Channel width should be the auto and it is for 2.4 gigahertz and channel width for 5 gigahertz, it should be auto. So no doubt, 5 gigahertz is a better option if you want to increase the internet performance on your PC or a laptop this 5 gigahertz will be good. So the best way to improve the Wi-Fi connection is to connect to the 5 gigahertz. Fat channel intolerance should be disabled. Your DNS should, should be either cloud or Google. And here preferred band should be 5 gigahertz band. Um, and roaming aggressiveness should be lowest. Once this is done, you just need to click on OK and we need to restart the computer and from here at the top right corner,
you might have to connect to the network you can simply select this arrow key and look for other Wi-Fi connections if you're getting other Wi-Fi that seems that means you have you have enabled your 5 gigahertz so I can see I have two Wi-Fi connections one is 2.4 gigahertz band and second is 5 gigahertz band so you can try to connect on both the if you have if you're getting two Wi-Fi connections for your Wi-Fi network and once this is done you need to restart the computer and see the internet difference I mean see uh, let me know in the comment section has it increased the speed or not and how much is the increment how's the performance I would highly appreciate if you can let me know because this will be very um, motivating and it will really make me happy I'll see you in the next tutorial guys please hit the like and subscribe have a wonderful day